Hey guys, it's me, Robbie Savage 6 aka Rob Salsa Gaming XD, and today I will be showing you a video game broadcast right from Coolidge AZ. Actually, from Valley Farms, but whatever. So, what should we play first? Let's play. Load new game. Hmm. Let's do this. We'll make that. All right then, but not playing a DS game. Let's play a Nintendo game. I guess what we can do today is I shall show you how to play Simon's Quest because I know as a kid it was kind of hard for me. This channel is made for kids. So I guess that all works out in the end. So um, let's open up Nostalgia.NES. Castlevania. Castlevania 2. Let's play. Oh, sorry. I realized I forgot to turn up the volume. Okay, this game settings. General preferences. Mute sound. Disable that. Oh, shoot. My tablet's upside down. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. It's not that guy, and it's not that guy. Oh, is it that woman or that guy? How much do I have? How do I get money? Has it the fairy man at Dead River loves garlic? Let's do something else. I'm, I'm, I literally came into the video having no idea what I was going to do. Uh, I guess we'll make a video on the 
Konami code then. So, here is the video about the Konami code. Hey, it's me, Robbie Savage 6 and today we'll be searching up the Konami code. Oh shoot, I'm on the wrong one. Alright, we'll watch a video first. Up, yeah. up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. The Konami code is the most famous cheat code of all time, but it's more than that. First used in 1986, the code has appeared in over 100 video games. It's been referenced on TV shows and has been an Easter egg in a few unexpected places. In short, the Konami code has become more than just a cheat code. It has become a part of the pop culture lexicon. So what's the story behind this famous code? Let's take a look. It all started at video game developer Konami in 1985. Kazuhisa Hashimoto was part of a small team working to port the arcade game Gradius to the Famicom slash Nintendo Entertainment System. Gradius is a classic side-scrolling shoot-'em-up. In it, the player controls the Vic Viper spaceship, which you must protect from alien attackers. As you fly through space, you try to collect capsules, which grant you access to more powerful weapons. It's a tough game, and Kazuhisa Hashimoto wasn't great at it, and that presented a big problem. He needed to play through the entire game to check for bugs, but he couldn't beat the game. So, he created a cheat code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. By pausing the game and entering the code, it gave him a full set of power-ups, which he desperately needed to complete the game and finish testing. He said he chose the famous combination of button presses because it was easy to remember. When Gradius was released in 1986 for the Famicom slash NES, the cheat code still worked. Why it worked is up for debate. Some say that the code was left in by accident. Others say that Konami liked the code and kept it in intentionally. Either way, the code worked, and several of Hashimoto's co-workers put the code into their own games as they ran them through testing. Although the Konami code was first introduced in Gradius, it didn't really become widespread knowledge until a few years later, when the code appeared in the NES port for Contra in 1988. By entering the Konami code at the title screen, players could increase their lives from 3 to 30. This was extremely helpful, as Contra is not an easy game. But how did people find out about the Konami code? It's possible that some people discovered it organically, but there's no doubt that Nintendo blew the lid off it when they wrote about the code in the inaugural issue of Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power's first issue came out in the summer of 1988. On a page marked Classified Information, they shared the code and wrote, this trick will help give you all the help you need to defeat the aliens. Afterward, the Konami code also became known as the Contra code, or the 30 Lives code. It went on to appear in Konami games and non-Konami games too. What it does depends on the game. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, using the Konami code at the title screen nets you two extra continues. In Tengen Tetris, entering the code drops a long Tetramino. In Castlevania Bloodlines, it unlocks Expert Mode, which you normally have to unlock by beating the game. It doesn't always help, though. Sometimes the developers teased us with the code. If you enter the code in Kid Dracula for the Famicom, you'll get a message saying, Too bad, there's nothing here. In Metal Gear Solid 2, entering the code causes Snake to question your decision. What do you think you're doing? The Konami code has appeared in more than 100 video games. Far too many to list here. But what makes the code a pop culture fixture is the fact that it crossed over into other genres. It was a joke on Family Guy. It unlocks colorful raining dots on BuzzFeed.com. It's the name of a song by the Ataris. And it plays a key role in the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Years ago, when you entered the code on ESPN.com, sparkly unicorns and rainbows filled the screen. 
entering the code on Facebook created a lens flare effect. It was also a question on the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The contestant didn't know about the Konami code, though. The mistake cost him $7,000. More recently, the Bank of Canada got in on the fun. If you enter the code on its webpage celebrating their new $10 bill, O Canada plays and fireworks shoot off. So as you can see, the Konami code has firmly entrenched itself in video game and pop culture. It may have debuted in Gradius by mistake, but I think we can all agree that as far as mistakes go, this was a pretty good one. That's all for this episode of The Gaming Historian. Thanks for watching. Funding for Gaming Historian is... All right, so that's the Konami code. Um, nope, not where I was going. Okay, so let me show you, in case you didn't know, how the Konami code goes. So, it's up. Okay. Come on. I always get this wrong. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and start. And see, rest 30. Rest is, is another way of saying. I'm not very good at this game. But, okay. I'm very not good at this game. Yeah, I'm not good at this game. But, also... And in the game Gradius, in case you didn't know, it um plays a big role in my childhood. So pretty much I would like not be able to play Gradius because um I I grew up with gaming historian, okay? And I didn't know about the Konami code till I was around eight ish, nine ish, around ten. And pretty much it um it uh, played a key role in wooing this woman, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, fortunately, that woman didn't like me anymore, so she kind of left me. But whatever, it played a big part of my childhood. So, if you ever... So, we'll play Punch-Out for a last minute, too. And... Then we'll, uh... Talk about my childhood. I mean, I'm still a child for anything. I won't be heavily, heavily relying on um, my super punches, hopefully. Um, so, about my uh, younger age. So, I pretty much, like, grew up very, like... Uh, I grew up very, like, poor, pretty much. As most kids tend to do.
two minutes. Oh my god. We're very poor and um my parents used to buy me all the big game consoles that were really big at the time. So I never really got what I want truly. But I did get some of the things I want. It developed to a point that I literally didn't know what to I wanted for um for uh, Christmas or birthdays or uh, you know, you don't get those that much of those birthday presents and Christmas presents. So, I try to use them up very, like, like knowingly that the fact that I'm going to, uh, not get them pretty soon. I'm already 16. I mean, like, I'm pretty much almost an adult. When the new Xbox 360 came out, I had to borrow my stepbrother's. Uh, I had to borrow my stepbrother's Xbox 360 because he got rid of it for the Xbox One. So I was pretty much like 13 years late. Or no, actually more like 6, but. That's besides the point. That's what you get for knocking me out, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, that's enough of that. So, pretty much, I don't have an Xbox One. I only have retro consoles. I have my tablet, which is pretty recent. But, it's not that recent. So, it would be nice if you could go over to my Patreon and support me. I'm setting up in a page right now as we speak. And, hopefully you can support me so I can get the things to make you, your life more entertaining. And, so, that's pretty much it right now. I'll see you later. See you on the flip side, I guess you can say. Go get him, Tiger.